we will now look at bit operations. So first, what is a bit? Well, it's just a symbol with two possible values. In particular, a zero and a one. Traditionally, the zero represents false, while the one represents true. In using these as true and false, we can now use our logical operations on them. In order to do this, we define a bit string. So this is just a sequence of zero or more bits. And as long as our bit strings are of the same length, we can perform logical operations. So they are denoted a little differently. We're going to use AND. So here, we would need both to be true for the answer to be true. So a 0 and a 1 would be false. 0 and 1 is false, and 1, 1 is true. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 0. We could also do OR. The only way OR would be false is if you had two zeros, which we can see never happens in this particular example. So therefore, we would have all ones. We also have XOR, so this is the exclusive OR. This is where it can only be one or the other, but not both. So here, in order for this solution to be true, we would need a zero and a one. So a zero and a one gives a one, a 1 and a 0 gives a 1, but a 1 and a 1 gives a 0. A 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 0. 